Hi again guys, Bioinformatica here with another video of the series Python for Bioinformatic. In this video, we will be talking about the simple values. The simple values include booleans, integers, floats, special values and the most important values, strings. So let's get started. So let's start by opening our IDLE. The first value is the boolean value which is also known as logical values. I know in one of your exams you have attempted this question in which you have to write true or false. This is the same thing. So T-R-U-E true or F-A-L-S-E false. These are the two values true or false. You can check the type of this value by using this function T-Y-P-E type and then enter true and this is a case sensitive value if you will enter wrong spellings just like here you will get an error if you will keep this first t small you will also get an error t r u e you will also get an error so we will talk about the use of this value in the future videos so the next value is integers integers are just like numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so on and so forth these also include negative numbers so 1 2 3 this is a number, 1 is a number, 2 is a number and you can check the type of this by the same function type and enter an integer over here so here are some examples minus 1 you can also enter a really huge numbers like this and you can notice that separators such as commas or periods are not used in python you will just get a plain number and we are going to use these numbers in later videos so the next type is float. Float is the abbreviated version of the term floating point. So float is basically equivalent of scientific notation and you might be already familiar with such number. These are known as floats because these contain a digit and an exponent. Exponent is adjusted so that the decimal point floats just after the first digit. So here are some examples 2.5 0 0.0001 and this is a very huge float. And as you can see that when you will enter a really huge float, it is represented in this E form right over here. And you can check its type by using the same function type and enter a float over here 1.2 and it's float. The next is special value. It is special because it is no value. It is basically used when you have missing values in the data and it is represented by none. -E See, even if you enter over here, you get nothing. So let's talk about strings. We will be using this type a lot in this series. Can you make a guess why strings are so important in this series? Please pause the video and make guess in the comments down below. So this type of simple value is used to enter text in Python. So it has to be enclosed in single quotes or double quotes. We enter it in triple quotes for multiple lines. So here is our first example of the string. Python for bioinformatics. So let me tell you the reason why we will be using strings a lot in our series. The reason is that we will be working with the DNA, RNA based sequences and amino acid sequences which are in the form of text and we will be needing help from the strings to enter those in Python. So let us take some example of entering amino acid sequences in Python. It's like M N K M D L M N K B A K E T D L S. So we have entered a protein sequence. Let's try entering a DNA sequence. A T G C T C T C T C G A C G A C T A T. So we have entered a DNA sequence. If you have to enter a multiple line sequence, you can enter it in triple quotes. In the next video, we will be talking about expressions, which include numerical operators, logical operations, and the very important string operation. So if you have any questions or concerns about this video, don't hesitate to comment down below. You can always find me there for help. If you want to find out what I do other than programming, please check out my vlogging channel. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you around in the next video.